Number six is certainty, okay? So it's interesting that this word came up yesterday or on, I did a, I did a virtual summit on Monday and this word came up in almost every single speaker that presented, all, all eight speakers, um, the word certainty came up at some point because right now there's a lot of uncertainty going on in the market and in the world and people are looking for somebody to have some certainty, okay, to help provide that to them. And you can be that person, okay? So how can you provide certainty? The number one way is to not just share information, but it's to share information with your take on the information, right? So you see today that there's a lot of articles, there's a lot of information coming out around coronavirus, around the markets, around the Fed updates and all these kind of things. And everybody's trying to process that information but we all are processing that information through our own filters, through our own frames of reference that we have through our lives. And we might not actually be taking in what's important to us because, you know, say for example, if you're a realtor or a loan officer, which I'm assuming is 90% of the people watching this right now, you know, you work in this industry every single day. You understand what the Fed means and what this means and that means. But for most people, they have literally have no idea, right? That's why everybody all of a sudden thought, mortgage rates were zero, you could go get a free house loan, you know, because it's just not, it's not something that average people are dealing with. They're only dealing with this every five to seven years. And you're dealing with it every single day. Okay. So when you see information come out, instead of just simply sharing an article or sharing a sound bit from somebody else, you need to share that with your own input. Okay. So it needs to have some attachment with your reference points. You can create the frame of why this is important or what do we need to know out of this article or this information? You can help to create that reference point for your network. And also that's what's going to make people stop and pay attention to what you're sharing because if you're just are sharing information, most people don't know is, is this relevant to me or not? And they're not going to take the time to figure it out. So when you create some frame of reference, now people can actually see, okay, this is important to me. Let me go actually see this article, right? And ultimately if you're sharing an article, isn't that the goal? Isn't that the goal is you, you must want people to read it if you decided to share it. So just take that little extra time and put your own spin on things. Okay. You're seeing, um, different organizations. You're seeing different organizations come out with sound bits today where you know, they're creating pieces of content that then other, their members are then disseminating out. And ultimately you, you can do the same thing for your network, right? You can be the content creator. You can be that point of information by taking in other information that's out there in the market, taking it all in and then regurgitating it in a way that your network actually understands, right? And they can say, okay, that makes sense to me, right? Now, you don't necessarily wanna have to say, does that make sense? But you just wanna have in your head to say it in a way and break it down in such normal language and such normal words that you know that everybody's gonna understand why it's important or what you're trying to convey, right? So having some certainty today, people are definitely looking for that, right? There's a lot of uncertainty and what you want to do is you want to help be the, the calm in the storm and help present that information in a way where people can, again, take it in and be able to understand exactly what it means without using um, any kind of lingo or acronyms or this kind of stuff where, where people in general, they don't, they don't understand exactly what you're trying to convey. They're like, Okay, I think that was important. I kind of get it, but I don't know exactly what this phrase meant, right? What is what is quantitative easing? Maybe somebody doesn't know what quantitative easing means, you know, or QE5 or 7 or whatever the hell we're in right now, right? Maybe somebody doesn't know what that actually means and you can break it down and tell them in a way that makes sense. Now they can be able to tell it to their friend and you know, or they share your video, right? It's how you can you can get out there. So, you can be that voice of certainty today. All right? And, and, and ultimately people are right now, they're at home, they're, they're even more in tune with the news and with updates and finding out what's going on than they usually are because there are so many changes happening really fast and nobody's distracted by their office environment because they're all just like at their house and stuff. So think about how can you be that voice, right? How can you be that voice of certainty? And, and ultimately that's number six, right? Of these 10, 10 ideas that we're going to be sharing out this week um, for in case you're on quarantine and you need a quarantine market. Appreciate you, Kyle. So that's it, right? So number one, just a quick, quick recap. Number one was connection. Number two was um, attention. 
people are creating, craving connection. They're not getting that one human connection they usually get in their office. They also, um, you're, you have their attention more because people are here hanging out on Facebook and on social media more than they normally would be in their office. Um, also be entertaining, right? How can you create entertainment? How can you create value and, and be there so that people are tuning in to what you're talking about and ultimately they can see your commercials whenever you're promoting commercials as well, right? So like for example, if you're digging this content, you should check out oneagentaway.com because we do all this kind of stuff inside the Legion of Loan Officers and it would be my honor to show you how I can help you get results like some of these other people where I talked to Gian, he made $100,000 since he joined the Legion of Loan Officers in July, right? So pretty good deal to pay like less than one hand worth of money and go make a bunch of hands worth of money, you know what I'm saying? So how can you create certainty? Okay, the other ones today were omnipresent. So how can you be omnipresent by being at least making one post per day on the organic side, on the free, on your profile? And then also by having the Cerberus guard dog method in place and shooting three one minute videos, launching those out $1 per day to all your retargeting audiences so that you stay relevant once people have raised their hand or shown any kind of interest in what you're talking about. Now you can consistently be relevant and be there inside of the, inside of the newsfeed. And then also getting the reviews online because people trust reviews today. It's the Amazon effect, right? It's when you go to Amazon and you see, oh, everybody else bought the same thing or oh, they bought this and this thing, or instead of this, they bought this, right? You can see all that stuff on Amazon. They've trained us to even look for that. So now you can, um, you know, you can take that same effect and just know that it exists in the world and how can you leverage it for your own business? It's by having clients telling other clients that you're amazing, right? That's the way to use the Amazon effect in your mortgage business or your real estate business or insurance or whatever it is that you're doing today. And then number six is providing certainty. There's a lot of uncertainty happening right this second. And you can be a voice of certainty, a voice of reason by taking in all the information and then pushing it back out in a way that makes sense, that is in language, that is normal uh, speak, that your, your network can understand exactly what you're saying, okay? And not when some mortgage and real estate fancy lingo but just say it in a way that just break it down into really normal, simple language.